Hey everybody, it's Dan Ratkowicz, and this is episode 21 of the Helping Hands podcast. This is the place where we spotlight regular everyday people doing extraordinary things, lending a helping hand in the community, going above and beyond. And um, I'd love for this to be a place where the community can come and ask for a helping hand when we need to rally together for a cause that is helping our community. Um, It's always great, you know, posting a flyer on Facebook is is terrific and it it works. It's actually how I found my my guest today. Um, But sometimes it needs a little more context, a little more of a conversation. Uh, And I'd love for this to be a medium that uh, we can use to uh, have those conversations. Um, and as I said, my, my guest today, I, I found scrolling through Facebook, I was on Todd Weinstein's Nice Things That Happen in East Meadow group on Facebook. And if you haven't had a chance to check that uh, Facebook group out, definitely check it out. There's a lot of great things, especially if you're an East Meadow resident, um, a lot of great positive information on that group. Um, and as I was scrolling, um, I saw a, a flyer, a poster that said, uh, Firefighter Needs Assistance. And, uh, you know, that caught my attention because um, I'm not used to seeing that. I'm used to seeing us reach out to the firefighters for assistance. Um, And I I reached out. uh, There's a fundraiser that was scheduled to help ex-Captain Mike Smith's family with uh, his medical bills for his battle with cancer. Um, And um, uh, Frank was reaching out looking for uh, local businesses to potentially uh, donate some raffle baskets and, and sell tickets to the event to help support it and promote it. And uh, I reached out to Frank to see if I could donate a, a basket from our business um, that we own here in East Meadow. And um, I got to talking to Frank, and it, it was a um, sounded like a really important conversation that I wanted to see if we can spotlight and, and do our part as what, you know the little tiny bit it is to spread that word and get that word out. So, Frank, thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Uh, Frank Chaccio from the East Meadow Fire Department. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to put this this fundraiser together uh, for ex-Captain Mike Smith. Um, Tell me a little bit about what happened and and how we got to this point here now. Well, it's not just me. It's the uh, the officers and members of Engine Company 2 with the East Meadow Fire Department that came together as a group and said that, you know, Mike, who's been with us for 22 years, you know, at that time was sick. And he needs our help. And we decided to put this fundraiser together for him initially to help with the medical expenses. Um, And then Mike got real sick and then passed away on December 28th. So it changed the focus now to the family. So quick. They need our help. They need financial help um, in Mike's passing. So uh, we decided to put this fundraiser together. And we've been reaching out to the community um, to help us, uh, to give us the assistance. You know, your East Meadow firemen are volunteers. They're not paid firefighters. Um, so when there is a call, they're leaving the dinner, they're leaving their families, they're coming out. Um, over the years, uh, we've been exposed to toxins. So um, and there, we don't know what's going to happen down the line. You know, um, there are members of the department, but they may be sick. You know, um, we, but we're finding out more and more how firefighters are exposed to cancer through the gear. In the past, you, you didn't really wash your gear a lot. You rinsed it off. Right. Well, that stuff gets embedded into your gear, and you're breathing this stuff in, you're, and it, it's exposed, your skin's exposed to it, and there's been cases where people got cancer. So um, your firefighters in East Meadow are the best, um, and they're out there to protect you and help you, um, and now we need your help. Um, one of ours, uh, um, the family, is in dire need of our assistance, and we're reaching out to the community um, to help us. So Mike, uh, Mike was a 22 year member of the East Meadow Fire Department. He just finished his term as captain of engine company two. Um, Mike was a worker. Mike, uh, gave his all when he was there. Uh, there was nobody better than him. Um, and was a leader, a mentor to the young people, to the young guys in the company, to new guys in the company, to probationary firefighters. And, um, he was well liked, and well respected. And, that's why you're seeing all 30, 36, 38 members of the company coming out, all as one unit, pushing hard to do whatever we can for his family. 
And and so you guys have a, a fundraiser a fundraiser set up. It's set for February 9th. ninth. Yes, February 9th at the East Meadow Firehouse on um, Front Street. East Meadow That's what Avenue. I am doing Front Street, next to the library. Next to the library. Um, tell me about what 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 you're going to have at the uh, at the fundraiser. Sure. Um, the first part of the fundraiser, uh, Kim Russo, um, her husband Anthony, he's a firefighter with Engine Company too, uh, is the happy medium, and she's volunteered the whole show to put this whole show together for us. Uh, and donate all the proceeds to that show to Mike's family. Um, and we sold out in, uh, as of yesterday for that first That's part, great. which is great. Um, the second part of the fundraiser will open the doors at 3 o'clock, and we'll have f uh, music, food, open a cash bar, 50-50 uh, raffles, Chinese auction, uh, so much stuff for the people to come and enjoy themselves. Tickets are only $10, so... You have it come in for ten dollars. You'll be exposed to everything that we'll be doing there. Uh, all the proceeds, one hundred percent of the proceeds we raise that day is going to Mike's family. Um, so it's it's going to be a big event, um, and it's open for anybody. It's not just fire, but fighters that we want. We want the community there. We want to show support for Mike and his family, uh, as he did protecting the residents of East Meadow. We like to see the residents come out and and show support to the family when they need it. And, and Frank, you, you know, you mentioned everything that the firefighters do, and, and uh, absolutely, I, I think a lot of people see that. A lot of people don't, you know, need to realize that a lot more of the danger that you put yourself in. Like you said, you get up from dinner in the middle of dinner and, and have to run out and, 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 and save a family. Um, there's also the families, your families at home that are, you know, sitting there at the dinner table as you're running out. And, and here's that family that, that supported and, and had... Um, Captain Mike, uh, there with uh, you know running out to those, and um, and now they need help. Yeah, and it's it's um, it's something we you know we we try to um, express to the to the community you know everything that we do. Um, they know we're here. They know that we're always there for them. There's never been a time where we haven't been there for the community, um, and it's very rare that we ask for your help. Uh, it's very rare that we'll come to you and say one of our people one of our people need help. Can you help us? Right. Tell me, tell me, is, is there a story that stands out that um, can can kind of um, talk about Mike as a as a person and and what he you know what he was doing with you guys? It's funny. Uh, Mike would come down to the firehouse on Wednesday night. We have trainings on Wednesday night at eight o'clock, and Mike would get down there uh, early, and he was a big Jeopardy fan. And all the guys tell me stories that you, they could swear he knew every answer, you know. <laughs> and uh, he'd sit there and, and he'd tell everybody the. <laughs> During that time, he was watching Jeopardy. Um, you know, those memories some of the young guys tell as they would sit there and around the round table and start talking, and he'd turn around and go, shh, I'm watching this, you mm -hmm. know, and, and things like that. Um, but he was well-respected, and, and when he was captain, uh, brought the whole uh, company together and um, was really a, well, a nice man and well-respected man. Uh, these young kids really looked up to him, and um, he really – did a, a fabulous job during that time as, as captain. Frank, what what are um, what are some of the events that uh, the East Meadow Fire Department uh, has? I know that you have a, an annual fire safety day um, that you're always uh, you know give the kids rides around uh, town. We, we the do uh, we do uh, fire prevention week. We have the open house. Um, we'll do uh, we go to schools, you know, to do fire prevention at the schools. Um, uh, different companies. We have seven companies in the East Meadow Fire Department. Uh, different companies will go out, like we just finished the Christmas time. We have stops all over uh, in our area that we bring Santa to. So we have the Santa ride, yep, yep. The sled, we bring the Santa over. Um, we do a collection in the department and raise money for Toys for Tots. And um, we go to the pediatric center, pediatric uh, floor at the hospital and donate, uh, give children toys, bring Santa up there and they give to toys to children. Um, they also... Um, Donate to the Burn Center. Um, you know, uh, we had a big parade last year in town. Um, our hundred, um, it wasn't our anniversary. He was uh, honoring one of our members who became the county battalion chairman. So we had a huge parade and block party for the community. It was great. Um, so we do everything we can. We, you know, we're out there. If uh, we in you know, addition parade, to saving lives, <laughs> yeah, parades <laughs> and um, other things like that. We're we're always out in the public. If they need people to come down and speak to them about something, if they want speakers, if they want to do any type of training class, they want us to come and show them, we're there for them. It's always been like that. 
and and um, I, I I I want to thank you and all all the members uh, because I don't think that I have the guts to do what you guys do run into bur- guys and gals run into burning buildings uh, and do what you do what is there what what from your experience can you talk about some of the crazy stuff or that you've seen that you've been through. Um, <laughs> just oh, wow. as, as, as an example, because I think, you know, you know, yeah, I, you know, we, you know um, one thing that comes to mind is um, it was probably like 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning, Belmore Avenue off of North Jerusalem. I remember um, we get to the scene and f- the flames are blowing out the front of the house and the neighbor comes out and she's screaming, there's, there, there's children in the house and we do what we do. And people started, honestly, finding ways to get into the building, to go through windows and jump through windows to find out, only to find out that they were on vacation. Mm. Gosh. You know, so um, th- these are your firefighters. They're here. To, they will do whatever they have to do to save a life. And if you're trapped, we're coming to get you. Um, and you're, the firefighters in East Meadow are second to none. They're the best. Um, you know, Nassau County has 71 fire departments. A volunteer fire departments, and they are hardworking, dedicated volunteers. Um, Mike Smith was one of those volunteers. He spent 22 years in East Meadow, and he spent, um, I think, I believe it was six or eight years in New Hyde Park Fire Department. So his most part of his adult life was in the volunteer fire service. It's men like Mike that uh, men and women, I'm sorry, like Mike that dedicate their time their, uh, and go to school. And the schooling to be a firefighter is more than when I originally joined. Um, so there's a lot of schooling involved and a lot of classes you need to take. What's the, what's the training that somebody, cause I, I see that you're, you're looking for volunteers, uh, you know, often I see the signs to, cr- you know, that we dare you to cross this line and, and what, what's some of the processes and, and the training that goes, once you get in, you, you, you go through a, 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 the fire department indoctrinary course, and then you have to go out to the fire school and go through do, uh, your probie class out there. And it's weeks of training. You have to go to different evolutions, and, and they teach them the dif- different skill sets they need to pass and become a certified uh, firefighter. Okay, and 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 that's that's got to be. I mean, it's got to be a certain type of person that that, that it's a certain type of person and a certain type of family that's going to allow this individual to, you know, go out to these classes and take all the classes need to be to come back and volunteer their time in their community. Right, right, and 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 that's that's why it's so important to support this cause, support this fundraiser. Um, the family of uh, a former captain uh, needs uh, needs help. Um, February 9th is the fundraiser. It's going to be at the East Meadow Firehouse on East Meadow Avenue, next to the fire department, next to the library. Um, Doors open at three p.m. Okay, tickets are ten dollars a piece. They'll be available at the door. You can buy them ahead of time. Um, we have a flight that's going out, uh, but you can get tickets. Uh, email, um, you can email Smith fundraiser 2020 at gmail.com. I'll put all the links yeah. to in there. Okay, great. And, uh, we also do we're using Venmo. Everybody uses Venmo. So we said, why not try it? 2020. And, and it's, and it's working <laughs> and it's working. So, uh, you know, if you have a, a, a business or a corporation or, you know, somebody that is willing to help us out with donations for gift baskets or donations, period, um, please contact us, um, all our information is on the fly that you'll be putting out. Uh, give us a call. Give us a, you know, shoot us an email um, and let us know. We'll run wherever we have to run to pick up whatever we need to pick up. All right. Um, we want this to be a huge success. Perfect. Perfect. Any Anything that uh, that, we're, that we missed that uh, you want to make sure that we... No, just, um, again, if uh, take 10 minutes, come buy a ticket. Have, a, uh, have something to eat, something to drink. And if you, you know, buy a raffle ticket, if that's all the time you have, we appreciate it. All right. All right, Frank, thank you so much for being here. Um, the links are uh, going to be on Facebook. Um, if you can't be at the fundraiser, you can donate money. You can donate a gift basket to raffle off to raise money. Uh, so anything that you could do, we need your help. Thank you very much. Frank, thanks so much for being oh, here. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a great day.